Raggy Grow started the fight with rage and flash attacks, but Tyson's good defensive skills and great left hook made the difference in the fight. As a result, very quick victory for Iron Mike. Marius Fraser was the son of the legendary Joe Fraser, but it didn't help him. Tyson began to attack immediately and knocked out Colt Fraser with a great uppercut punch in the first round. The first title fight for Mike Tyson versus Trevor Berbick was sensational. It immediately became apparent that Berbick didn't control his distance, and soon it was the first knockdown in the fight, and only the bell saved the champion. But in the second round, Tyson finished the fight with a sharp left hook. Pinkland Thomas was a very tough opponent and even wasn't in knockdown before. But the young champion Mike Tyson was too much for him. Tyson hit with great combinations of uppercuts and hooks. And the fight was over with a brutal knockout in the sixth round. In October 1987, Tyson faced Biggs, and it was the battle of two young and undefeated boxers. The undisputed champion Mike Tyson and the Olympic champion Tyrell Biggs. But in the battle against Tyson, he wasn't so lucky. Tyson's superpower and great speed made the difference in the fight. As a result, the referee stopped the fight in the seventh round. The really one of the best boxers in heavyweight division history, Larry Holmes, couldn't give the real good fight for Tyson. During his career, he went through many wars in the ring, and he was almost 40 years old. As usual, Tyson was very fast and accurate, and finished the fight very quick in the fourth round with a great combination. Best 
big right hand, followed up by the left hook. Mike showing patience to get set for the big step. Right hand, and Larry again. He's back at his heels. Larry gets there with the left hand, the right hand. Digs to the body, goes to throw right hand. Gets split with a big right hand. He won't get up from this one. It's all over. Joe and this is the very last time. This will show exactly how that right hand gets hung up in the ropes. And watch the way he spins his body. And right there, he's caught, exposed, and Mike boldly jumps on it. And that's all she wrote. The mistake of the undefeated boxer Michael Spinks was that he tried to go for a war against the Iron Mike. Tyson didn't forgive him for this. And it was one of the fastest knockouts in history of heavyweight. Only 91 seconds. Another great performance by Mike Tyson. And another great knockout win. the first time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again and in serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. He's not going to make it. It's all over. Frank Bruno was really top opponent from the United Kingdom. The fight started very explosive, and Bruno was in knockdown after 12 seconds of the fight. Until the fifth round, Tyson couldn't develop his success. But then the fight was over. Tyson threw monstrous power punches, and the referee stopped the fight. Tyson trying to attack now to finish him off. Bruno has the wherewithal to hang on. Tyson gives him room to come off the ropes. Scores with the uppercut. Lance, a big right hand. Bruno's in big trouble now. He's ready to go. He hits him with a right hand. Bruno trying to hang on as best he can. He's still in big trouble. The uppercut catches him. The right hand catches him. He's really being hit now. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped. Mike Tyson's left hook was absolutely phenomenal and he proved it again in the fight versus Carl Williams. Another great one-punch KO win. Another first knockout and the last Tyson's KO win in career. Etienne tried to knock out Tyson very quick, but missed the right hand shot straight into the chin, and he couldn't go up. Freddie Roach was working. 